Hey guys, welcome to my test world. You're with me again, Riskiest Knight. Uh, welcome, as I say, and today we're going to be looking at, if you can see behind me, a cocoa bean farm. Um, now, why would you want to farm cocoa beans? Well, other than the obvious, you get cookies. Um, it also gives you a lovely brown dye, and it is pretty much the only sort of brown dye other than perhaps spilling a cup of coffee on yourself. Um, so today we're going to look at a nice simple farm that will give you plenty of cocoa beans to, to dye things with or make cookies out of your choice. Now, once again, because it is one of my builds, it is going to be dead easy. Um, important thing to remember is you need jungle logs. It's the only thing that the cocoa beans will grow on. So in this build, we've got an 8x5 build uh, wall there of jungle uh, logs. And you notice they haven't been peeled, they haven't been stripped. So they're just as straight from the tree. Now, when you are building this, just watch your build limit because obviously you can only shunt, um, was it 12, I believe, 12 logs with, with your pistons. So just bear that in mind. So as I say, I've gone for an eight by five here, which, you know, it gives you plenty. Now, as you can see on this one, we've got little doorways down the side so you can plant things. And you've got a little bit of redstone at the end um, and a little collection system just here. So let's crack on and build this. As you see, I've already chucked the wall up already. So we'll have the redstone elements first. So what we have is some observers, some pistons, a bit of redstone, um, some building blocks. Uh, it could be anything. I'll just use a bit of smooth stone because I like smooth stone. And something to fire your pistons with, really. I've just got some, some nice warped buttons because they're green. I've got no other reason than that. So first up, we place the pistons. So on this end, we're going to have five. One, two, oh. One, two, three, four, five. And then at the other end, you leave a gap because we're going to be pushing these into there. One, two, three, four, five. So let's move you on down here. Now, to make this all work, um, we need a little wood zone. So we have these building blocks, so two to three here, and we have your button there, and a bit of redstone here. So when you push that button, that will light that redstone, which will power that piston there, and that piston there. But obviously, you want to be running all of these as well. So this is where your observers come in. So your first observer is going to be looking down one, the second one from the top, looking down that one. So the observer itself will power that one and then that um that one. so we need a little bit of redstone oh, oh. as you can see straight away it saw that one bit and changed and fired that so we're going to do exactly the same down the other end so one two three and a button a bit of redstone then your observers and that will be pretty much whole of redstone element. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So we see it in action here. Push the button, shunt them across. And the action of moving that wall breaks all the pods. So that's where your harvest comes from. And there we have it. Easy peasy. Now what we're gonna be needing is some sort of collection system. So you need your ice makes it nice and slippery so it moves I think on nice and quickly. Some water, just one hopper, a couple of chests and some signs. So I'm gonna put my collection in what here. One, two, three, five, six. We'll do that one first so a couple of chests and a hopper. Chest, chest, and we'll have a hopper into the side there. Okay, and that is your collection system. Easy, eh? So once again, go down to have a trench all the way on the side here. Um, there. And then, just fill that hole in. You need your pack dice, your decompressed dice. We'll run that all the way along here. Now we're going to bring 
the other side as well. Yeah. Yeah. Easy now. Just need to fill it with some water. So we'll see how far it goes. Um, we'll fill that one in. Keep it neat. Keep it nice and neat. So put some water in there and see how far it flows. It should go on to the end. So this is where your signs come in. So if I put that sign there, it stops the water um, going any further than that. Then put another water source there which will then take us around the corner. And with this one, some sort of thing. This one though I'm going to put it at the end. So I want the water flowing to this point. So your items, well the cookie the cookies, huh? the actual cocoa beans will slide across that section there. So pop your water in and that water should run to there. Go around here and just put that final water source in. There we go. And there we have it. That's it. So Anything that falls in there will get washed into there. Oh, one final thing we need. A bit of glass. That piece of glass we are going to put just here. Now, with that bit of glass, obviously you can still open your chest. But anything that comes through this way, it's not going to overshoot and just to end up being wasted here. It will stop here and drop into that hopper, which then feeds in to your chest. So if I throw this glass in here, one more bit. Bit of shoot down into there. <laughs> to the chest, so it's fine. Now, final bit is just to encase it all. Um, you can case it however you want. What I would say is have these doorways down the side here. Now, the reason to put these on this one is if you crouch and jump, you can get in and you can actually replant all these. Unfortunately, there's no way around for replanting. So let's quickly pop these in. So like that. And this will stop anything. Right now. Something. So, trap doors. Not going to use these ones this time. Let's put those along there. Top and bottom. Now, some people might not say there's a much easier way of doing this, which you know what? I'm sure there probably is. Remember the crouch. Um, this is sort of the most obvious way I've found of doing it. That keeps it nice and easy. So then just plant your wall up. Um, when you come to build yours, make sure you put the roof on it. Uh, so you can see on this one, I just put three glass across the top. But you should just decorate it up how you want to. So now that's in place, shovel these. Again, nothing like that. It's not as if it's hardship doing that either. Then, well, when you want to harvest it, you just push that button. So, on this one, you can see they're all grown here pretty much. So push the button, they all is going to be great. And a harvest. Harvested. And here they come. And they the thing. Now, what I found with a, a 40 by 40 uh, wall is that you get about 160 um, cocoa beans from there. Um, which is plenty so that is all there is to it i hope that you know it's been useful for you um i didn't do the other side obviously it's just two bone idle especially when i've got one sat there ready um but yeah i hope it's uh it's good if you did enjoy that um drop a like on there and uh you know if you fancy subscribing please do so and uh yeah that's it i hope it's all good for you thank you very much for watching and until next time See you later. Bye-bye.